Brought to you in part by Mananoc Flooring and Decorating, offering quality sales, service, and installation for over 35 years on Production Avenue next to Subaru of Keene. Hey everybody, I'm Luca Paris, and on today's culinary journey, we're going to be focusing on one of the best restaurants in New Hampshire, Louie Louie. I got to tell you, Italian food to the max. We're going to be learning about risotto, rice balls, and risotto with chicken marsala in it. I mean, you got some great stuff. I got Eric, the owner, in, and his chef, Mike. We're going to be cooking up a storm. So you know what? We better get right to it because New Hampshire Restaurant Week, Louie Louie, and your culinary journey starts now. Everybody, welcome to a culinary journey. I tell you, every time I think of this restaurant, I start singing the song in my head. I'm sure they've had it <laughs> sung a million times. But I got some great people with me today. We're going to be talking about rice balls and restaurants, Louie Louie, New Hampshire Restaurant Week. We got Mike the chef. We got Eric the owner. How's it going, man? Terrific. You guys doing all right? Awesome, awesome. Thanks for having me on. To well, no, wait. Thanks for coming on today. Uh, you don't have. Is this your show? No, it's no, not it's my, my show. Thanks, Thanks for <laughs> having us. <laughs> I'm just getting lost. Hey, so we're talking rice balls. Let's talk about Restaurant Week first. We've got Restaurant Week coming up. Yes, we're real excited. We've never done a Restaurant Week before, and uh, you know, our restaurants in West Lebanon and Nashua, uh, you know, we're excited to do this. It's going to be a lot of fun. You've got a whole menu together. People can come in, try out yes. stuff they might not normally exactly. have gotten to and you know, really showcase the place. That's right. Uh, you know, there are over 125 restaurants we're here, and uh, we're going to try to make it exciting for all our guests. Perfect. Well, we're going to be doing a couple of dishes you do at the restaurant right now. Yes. And yes. are those kind of going to be on the menu? or? You... Uh, yeah, so the risotto, there'll be some sort of risotto on the menu. Um, we'll do, uh, do different variations. Uh, this one was going to be a chicken marsala risotto. Nice. Yeah. So we'll do that in our next segment. We're going to start off with rice balls or arancini or little risotto right. balls, right? Right. So we got, first of all, it's doing risotto. That's not an easy dish to make. No, risotto is kind of tricky because it does take some time. Um, to cook and to get it to the right consistency. So it does take a little bit of skill, All right. um, but it's, it, you know, just takes a little bit of time and just... Uh, love. Love. Time and love, my friend. Exactly. That's what it's all about. <laughs> so let's do this. Sure. I'll cut the onions for you. All right, great. So I got to do these onions and then what are we, what are we using for a rice? What kind of rice? Are we We're using a Boreal rice. All right. Um, so. Due to uh, lack of time constraints, what we're going to do here is I'm going to start my pan and start you, uh, to show how we actually make the risotto. Um, wrong, turn the wrong one on here. Come on, yeah, no, do, You go. know how many times I do that on this show? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Am I doing all right with this You're cut? You're doing is that great. What you want? Yeah? Excellent, excellent. It's, it's my first time cutting. It. <laughs> so Where am I going with this? We're going to go right in this pan. Let me put a little bit of oil in here. You got it. Eric, the restaurant's been around for a while, right? It had, we were uh, in our 21st Here year we right now. Nice. We started nice. in West Lebanon and uh, 15 years ago up in Nashua. And we were talking about risotto a year or so ago. Uh -huh. You know, Mike said, boy, it's, it's, it's just such a labor of love that goes into it. And we made it a few times, and the end result is just delicious. Yeah. It's worth the extra effort. A little extra effort. And anyway, for the restaurant, though, you, you make a little bit of head, right? You yes. Kind of we fold in we, we kind of cook it to about 80% uh, of the way. Right. And then we portion it, uh, and then we reassemble the dish, you know, at the last minute because you just, it's impossible to make it to order. Right. Because it does take some time, as you can sure. see, we'll uh, demonstrate yeah. how we, uh, how we go about the how process. How we wait for the onions. Yeah. How we wait for the onions this to cook. This is the time where we're supposed to open the wine and be drinking at the same time. No, that, would be, yeah. that would be nice. That's what it's up to. That would be well, nice you got to ask him. He's in charge. I don't know. <laughs> well, let's do this. Let's, let's do this. So, let's, so we're going to get our onion sautéing. But with, with the rice balls, which we're going to kind of show right sure. here a little bit, um, you, you're going to do basically aioli at the yes, same time? Yes, I'm going to do a basil, uh, lemon, basil, garlic aioli, and mm -hmm. that's just like a little uh, dipping sauce for the arancini balls. It goes okay. really well with that. Um, sometimes we serve a little bit of marinara sauce as well. Nice. Um, 
So, it, I mean, if you can get started making that aioli, that would be great. It would be my pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. We got our onions going Eric, right here now. So, Eric, the, the, the restaurant's menu, mostly Italian, of course, right? It is, yes. We, yeah. uh, we make our own uh, pizza dough. We have a wood-burning oven that we had a, a mason from Vermont build. Nice. Uh, it's out of this world. So the, the aioli I'm making, as far as the garlic, and I'm doing a fine chop on the garlic? Fine chop probably? on the garlic. Mm -hmm. um, just a, maybe one clove is probably enough for that, a little bit amount of mayonnaise right. that we have in there. And then just a little squeeze of lemon, some, uh, some finely chopped basil, and mix it up, and that's pretty much it. Usually in the restaurant, I use a uh, Cuisinart or something to get a little more fine puree of that basil. So kind of pulse everything out. Yeah, and it gets to that nice little bit of green color in there too. So You know what's great about using aiolis? I mean, like people like just use straight mayonnaise. But if you, if you kind of flavor your mayonnaise on, exactly. on anything, whether it's a rice ball right. or even a burger, mm. I mean, you can put any flavor you want into there, too, oh, yeah. and yeah, it's absolutely wonderful. Ao is a fancy uh, word for flavored mayonnaise. Flavored mayonnaise. <laughs> so my onions are pretty good right here. They're starting to get translucent. Now, at this point, I'm going to add the risotto. And we were talking about risotto on the way over, more of a short grain rice. Right. Uh, it just takes a little bit longer to cook, and all the nice... Uh, Juice and love comes out of there right. and makes it real. Interesting fact. Did you know risotto was uh, named after where it was actually grown? Really? Arboreal. I mean, actually, the rice, arboreal rice. It's named actually, after where it was grown? Yeah. I just actually looked that up on the way here. <laughs> <laughs> Can I use this to whisk this up right here? Just whisk that up. And then up the only thing I have to add to this is the basil also? Yep. Just a little bit of basil and nice. uh, maybe a little pinch of salt and pepper. And you got it. And away we go. Oh, so we get the rice all Coated with that oil, we're going to take a little bit of wine, if you don't mind passing This one right here? Yep, that'll work. A little bit of Riesling wine in here. Now that's, a, that's a thing. You're actually toasting the rice before you're yeah, we want to get, it. Yeah, we want to get, we want to toast it up a little bit. And we put the uh, wine in here to get the starches nice and happy in here. Right. Nothing better than a happy starch. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now we want to reduce that a little bit till it's almost, almost gone. This is a, uh, like a four-stage process. We keep adding liquid so the risotto keeps absorbing it till it's right. finally done. Now, everybody says, how long is that? Well, we have to try it. When it when, you'll know when it's ready, right? Right, exactly. You get a tiny little bite to it, still nice and soft and creamy. So we're at this point where that wine is pretty much absorbed. We're going to take a little bit of our chicken stock. Oops, spilling a little bit. That's okay. I have people clean that up. <laughs> so you, you're not, with most rice dishes, that's the coolest thing about risottos, where it's different, is that most rice dishes get the water hot, put the rice in, put the top on, Ton. shut the water down, and walk away. Yeah, done. Here yeah. you have to just kind of sit there, let it kind of absorb. Exactly. This out. is a good dish to make, you know, and for your family, and sit, open a bottle of wine, take your time. <laughs> um, this comes back to a bottle of wine. I know. Uh, <laughs> and I think that's why you don't see a lot of uh, places that have risotto on the menu. Because right. Because it is difficult, and uh, it's, it's, it's delicious. So we got the risotto cooking. Let's, so the process here is a couple more steps every time. Right. Dries up a little more, then we add, add some a little more, more uh, stock. Or, stock, yeah. And then it, it comes out to something like that over yep, here, right? Yep, right over here is basically um, that process after probably 15 to 20 minutes or right. so. It's nice and creamy. Um, I mean, at this point, what we want to do is we want to add our corn. Yeah. This is uh, roasted corn and roasted pepper mix. That looks excellent. And put that in there. And actually, else you? and actually, I need a little bit of uh, cheese would be nice. Parmesan, oh, right there, there in front of you. And we got a grater right here? Yep. I'll well, hand that to you. You want me to do yeah. it? You can do it. Yeah, you sure? Right. Watch out for that hot oil. We don't want you to burn yourself. Oh, that's, that's the most fun of the show is watching me burn myself. You guys, <laughs> that's the camera guys. They love when I'm doing stuff like that. Excellent. And All maybe, right, cool. maybe just a little bit of basil, chiffon out of basil would you be great. It. We're going to put that in there. So you know what? See, thank you so much for letting me work. I appreciate it. What we're going to do is I'm going to pull this over to you so it's a little closer, so make it a little bit easier for you. Chiffonade, that, that means these ribbons of basil like that? Yes, very you nice. All right? oh, good knife skills. You yeah, have. Well, yeah, you know. There we go. I'll put that right there for you. Voila. So, all right, so we're at this point. What we're going to do at this point is we want to make sure it's nice and dry. Now, we'll probably go a little bit longer, cook it a little bit longer. Right. Because when it cools, we want the ball to... Uh, hold together. And that's what you did over here. Exactly. I mean, they, they hold together perfectly. E exactly. So now at that point, we... Oh, it looks like that. Good job. 
That's pretty good. Huh? You can eat it. You can eat it just I, like well, you can I'm, serve it as I'm a side dish, just, just like that if you'd like. I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> so you get the balls together. Okay. Yeah. What we're going to do next is it's pretty simple. What we do is we form the balls, um, put them in a little bit of uh, seasoned breadcrumbs, and we're going to shallow fry them over let's here. Let's try that out. What, you want to move those over? And yeah, I'm going to move this up? over here. Just so we so don't, you don't have to go down. that far away. Yeah. So we're going to get these balls into here. I'll just start. Let me start doing this part, okay? Excellent. And now, there's enough moisture on the, You don't have to do this whole egg thing, right? No, there's I don't. There's enough moisture the, on the, uh, the rice itself? Yeah, like the, that? yeah basically. Um, Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, just basically just a light bread coating. Um, we just want them to get it nice and crispy. I mean, you could, you could uh, put them in flour and egg and breadcrumbs, but um, we tend to just want to leave it a little bit lighter. Okay. And more, about, more about the rice. How do you know when your oil is ready? It, you know, it, just before it starts to smoke, I think uh, 350 degrees would be good if I had a thermometer. I would put it in there, but we're we're gonna kind of wing it. I yeah. use my finger. You use your finger. No, wow. I'm kidding. <laughs> you, you must have really asbestos <laughs> fingers. So basically, you just put them in the hot oil. Now, if you have a um, like a deep fryer at home, any deep fryer, you right. can you can totally submerge them. Um, and let's do a few more here. Yeah. I mean, oh, you, oh, you want me to do a few and, more? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Look, You're not I, cooking for a change, right? Yeah, no, it's a, this is this is fun though. <laughs> um, so basically, just kind of lightly, which is great about these is not they're not that really big, bready and and cookie, you know, yeah. arancini. Like you said, you're just putting a little bit of breadcrumb on the outside. Yeah, you could do them. Yeah, you could do anything with these. You could stuff them with cheese. You can put different ingredients with them. That's the nice thing about risotto. It's so versatile that you can just. Right. You can do any sort of flavor combination you want. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to play with these, let these kind yeah, of fry, sure. get a little crispy. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll show them what it looks like at the end. Excellent. Talk a little more about Louie Louie and the two locations. We're going to make a risotto with chicken marsala in it? Yes. It's nice. called a chicken marsala risotto. We're going to have a chicken marsala risotto with a nice piece of uh, grilled chicken on top. Perfect. Well, you know what? You need to stick around for this. I mean, some great Italian food coming up. We've got mushrooms. We've got chicken. We've got risotto, rice. You can't go wrong. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Hey everybody, welcome back to Culinary Journey. I'm Luca, that's Mike, that's Eric. We're talking about Louie Louie means, what does it mean? And it means he, he, or him, him. Nice. That's right. <laughs> I like, where did the name come from? Is it the just... uh, guy that designed the first restaurant in West Lebanon uh, gave us a couple of names to choose from, and Louie Louie sounded good. I, li I like it. And, and do, you, do you do sing the song in your head when you say well, it? Ab, people... All the time. Yeah. Does yeah. it constantly play there or no? It you doesn't. Go... Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got some great Italian food. We made those, those risotto balls, or arancini, right? See. Si. Yeah. And inside, we've got corn, pepper, we got a little chiffonade of basil. A little parmesan. And then, yeah. and then right underneath there is where you put the, the aioli, the aioli. Yeah, right under there, yeah. That's a great dish, man. Yeah, it looks great. Huh? Came up with that? I did. I like it a lot. Excellent. Now we're going to talk about the grilled chicken on top of the risotto, right? Yes, we're going to do a variation of risotto. We're going to do a chicken marsala risotto. Okay. Um, which uh, basically the chicken is going to be grilled and served on the top of the uh, risotto flavor with some mushrooms which um, we have here. We have some portobellos and we have some regular white mushrooms right. that we're going to saute. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with... And I'm, I'm cleaning the chicken. I'm just getting some of the right. excess fat over the top. Definitely want to... Do I look okay like that? That looks that great. That was make? pretty quick, huh? Hey, dude, I'm getting there. Right. One of these days, <laughs> I'm going to have my own plate. <laughs> Don't you have your own place? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Excellent. I did, you know what? Who's, is it really my place? All right, go ahead. Is it really our place? Oh, no. <laughs> so, right. all right. So we're, I'll clean up the chicken breasts. What do you need, about two of those or three of those for the dish? I think or? two would be two more, more than fun. enough, yeah. All right. I'll, I'll just keep cleaning until you're ready. So you're slicing up the mushrooms, getting a pan nice and hot. Yeah, getting the pan nice and hot. I'm going to get some fresh garlic over here. We're going to do a nice... Uh, now, Fine chop. Now, when you when you do and we we did that, that's the risotto like we did before. Exactly. Where you kinda cooked it halfway. Yes, that thing that's cooked about about 80, 90 percent of the okay, way. Cool. So then, when we make our dish, it's going to finish cooking in the pan nice. and be perfect. All right. So you get your saute pan ready. Yeah. Mushrooms ready. Yeah, we're, pan's hot. Do we're, I have to season the chicken at all? Yes, if you don't mind seasoning, just a little salt and pepper, because all the flavor is going to be in the uh, risotto. All right, that'll be just great. Clean this off of here. Prosciutto. Yeah, we get a little oh, bit of prosciutto over you, there too. We need to get that sliced up. Is there another knife over there? Can I steal one of those? Maybe in that top block. Yeah, there we sure, go. Sure, there you go. 
Thank you very much. You're welcome. It's cool that we have everything here. <laughs> so, oh yeah, after season. Do you mind passing me the uh, oil? Oil. Done. Oh, great, thank you. And then how do you want this cut up? Just kind of julienne? Just, yeah, or? julienne slice is great. All right. Excellent. All right, our pan's nice and hot now. Now, if, for, for people watching the show, they, they used to me cooking. I tell you, this is the way to live, man. All <laughs> I have to do is kind of do prep work. This is the way to go. Okay, I got some julienne. Is that going to be enough, or you want some more? No, that's plenty. That's plenty. We're going to add that at the end since that ham is uh, basically uh, cured, cooked, right. ready, you know, ready to go. Cool. So we're going to do our start with our mushrooms first. Right. This that is a variation of our most popular pasta dish at the restaurant, the chicken and prosciutto marsala. Oh, really? Yes. Nice. And, and now you serve over any type of pasta or a specific pasta? Or? Uh, we, we do either an imported cavatappi, we do fresh linguine, and uh, for restaurant week, as we're going to feature risotto, uh, we're gonna we're gonna make Dude, it this risotto. is the risotto. Yes. Oh, I never seasoned your chicken. You did not. Man, maybe 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 I'm not gonna get that job there. <laughs> I need a fork. You need a oh, fork? No, no wait. I got one. This. Oh, yeah. I got this. I got this. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to touch the chicken. We're doing cross contamination here. Let's right. put a little bit of oil on this grill pan. Hopefully, it's hot enough. Uh, I think you're gonna get a nice hot grill pan right there. Oh, that's cool. Not <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the first time stuff got thrown across my set. Yeah. yeah. All, All right. right. So just grilling the chicken on either side. You got and then nice thin. Nice thing, bread. Yeah, kind of thing. it should uh, cook uh, rather quickly. Oh yeah, we're we're hot. That's good. All right. The, uh, when when you're making a risotto, uh, now that it's, uh, it's on the menu, you said also. We or? do have uh, one risotto on the menu now for restaurant week. We're going to do a little bit more so we can have it lunch and dinner. Nice. And when you when you're making it, so there's no the way you set it up. There's no additional time for ordering it, right? No, you, no. They tried to go to a classic place that did it from scratch. And, Spend 35, 40 minutes trying to get one dish. Exactly. Right? Yeah, we're both restaurants are in busy areas. People uh, you know, have a press for time. Yeah, yeah. So. Cool. And it's, it definitely is one of those dishes. It's all about comfort food, too. I mean, just the rice and, the, and all the ingredients that go on top of it. And if you are making risotto at home, and that's something I like to, when, when I tell people about making risotto, too, you can put anything in there. Yeah, yeah. It's like pasta. Like, you just you want to put ingredients in. You could do, easily do a seafood risotto. Yeah, we did a, um, in the specials, we did a spring pea risotto with uh, grilled salmon with an orange butter on the top, which oh, was nice. really nice. And gluten-free for people that uh, are exactly, looking. Exactly. Gluten-free is the best, one of those best things to talk about when you do that. So you're going to saute down the mushrooms. Yep, we're going to let those cook a little bit, get a, um, and then we're going to add our garlic. Okay. This is going to be pretty quick. Gonna no, add, no, you don't add your garlic ahead of time. You add it a little bit later on, right? Yeah, I don't want it to burn. I definitely don't want it to burn um, normally. Uh, just just get too hot. Too hot. 30 seconds is usually pretty good, you know. Nice. Now, a nice hot pan, really, with mushrooms is really good because you don't want all the, to be watery. You want right. that nice right. caramelization that we're getting getting a little bit here. So, so as far as, now we got the chicken grilling, we got the mushrooms going on. You need a spooner. Oh, you're getting your garlic in. The garlic. You got going. the rice that's on the side. Now, that doesn't go in. Until you feel like your your base for this is cooked down, exactly. Ready to go. Basically, uh, we got this going here. We get it to the point. The garlic's almost done. We're gonna hit it with some marsala wine, which which we have a nice sheer <laughs> bottle over there. Is that ready for now, or we're about ready right there? All if right. you want to hand that off to me, we're not gonna. gonna do I don't think we're gonna see a flame though. No, that's okay. All that? right, go ahead, Eric. Whoa. Excellent, nice, nice, nice. So we're gonna let that deglaze a little bit and add our risotto. Let me turn our chicken here. Looks like it's uh, looks like it's getting there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, looking pretty good. All right. So when this goes down, you just add some of your rice into there, let it all kind of come together. Yep, yep. Basically, that's about it. We're almost done. We're gonna put that in, get some freshly grated Parmesan cheese, nice. and maybe finish it with a little bit of uh, my sure. favorite thing is butter. But. <laughs> Well, let's do this. Let's take a break. We'll sure. let the, the chicken keep finishing. We'll get this reduced down. We'll add the risotto to that and then do the finishing touches. That's great. When we come back. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Great job, gentlemen. Hey, don't go away. We're going to finish off this risotto and uh, have a great time during restaurant week. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Hey, we're, we're getting this risotto finished up. Chef Mike's working with me on it. Working with me, I'm working with him. <laughs> so you got mushrooms in the pan, we got garlic in the pan, we got marsala. Yep. What else? Now we got the risotto in here. Nice. We're just gonna mix that up, get that to come all together. Meanwhile, I could use some cheese in there as well. You want some cheese grated right in? Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, a little chicken stock in here. It's drying up a little bit. This is, this is how they work in their that's kitchen. That's it, right? We got like, it comes all over. Oh, a little on the heavy on the chicken stock, but that's okay. Right. That a little bit. <laughs> right. more cheese? A little more cheese. Cheese so is always I, I, a little I, I would love to work in your kitchen. Do you just ask everybody to bring stuff over for you? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chop up the scallions real quickly. That's going to be part of our garnish. The chicken Soup. grilling. you got the prosciutto that's all julienne here. Yep, we're going to add that in. Want to take a ball, we want to take a spoon to kind of spoon some of that out. So you put it right in here. Yeah. There you <laughs> go. Too thick. Too thin. All right. I'm cooking. Yeah, we'll get this prosciutto in here. Nice. So this is... Uh, Eric, tell me a little bit more about the place. I mean, you got seafood, you got not only pasta dishes, right? Oh, absolutely. No, we have pasta. We make our own salad dressings. Nice. We're famous for our uh, fresh baked rolls. We'll oh. bake over a thousand rolls a day and uh, our dipping oil that we've been really? known for. We have bottles of dipping oil. Uh, you didn't bring me any. I, we didn't bring any. Dude, Dude I'll man. check it out, though. That's it. You know what? Then. That's the way to get it. It's going to come see you. Exactly, right? exactly. <laughs> yeah, big wood fired oven, uh, nice. great pizzas. Desserts. Oh, That's awesome. You want some butter in there? Or you... Yeah, we're going to finish out with a little bit of butter. It's starting to absorb a little bit more of that chicken stock. It's right. pretty much almost there. So now, right, risotto, as you're bringing it on the menu, I mean, you get to kind of play around, use it this, use it as an entree, use it as a starch maybe on the side of something. Too, sure, right? yeah. yeah. You can use that as a side yeah. dish if you'd like. You know, we do that as well. We'll have half orders, a little side dish of Parmesan risotto. Right. Right. Yeah, that's we're, awesome. We're good to go. Yeah, we're gonna put right. that. So we got in our one. chicken. We got a risotto. We have the rice balls. You guys remember that right there? Yeah. And I'm just ready to garnish, man. All right. Whenever we're you're ready. Put it in there. Now it. Oh, oh. Look at that. That's that's. A, I'm all set for the rest of the day. You know, that. I don't have to eat dinner. Right we got our chicken. We're gonna throw on the top. So well, everything's in there. That prosciutto really gonna give it a little bit of saltiness too, right? Yeah. And then we just garnish. Garnish. A little more cheese? A little more cheese in the top right, and we're fine. done. That is beautiful. So Louis Louis in both locations. Uh, you, you get to check it out. Restaurant week. Dates again? May 18th to the 25th. And yeah. we're, we're getting so much great feedback. We may even extend it a few really? days. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Cool. Just let me know. I'll be, I'll be doing it too. Okay. <laughs> That'd be great. Guys, Mike, thanks. Great job. Thank All you. Right. Jeff, Luke, thank awesome. you. Awesome. Had a great, great time with you. Hope you had a great time with us. The guys and Louie Louie. Hey, we'll see you next time on A Culinary Journey. in part by Monadnock Flooring and Decorating, offering quality sales, service, and installation for over 35 years on Production Avenue next to Subaru of Keene.